Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Four Science series in Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. We are here with our LAIF shuttle that is trying to get over to LAIF with a little correction, 22 meters per second. And we also have our BOP probe, that BOP, BOP rover launch that will be getting over to BOP, but we'll deal with the LAIF shuttle first. We are going to focus on this particular burn in 26 days with Desmi Kerman on board. And there's a high stakes thing. We're hoping that our thicker wing will help this survive, but we're probably going to save. <laughs> we're probably probably going to save when we hit Lathe SOI just to test things out. Exactly how much extra heat tolerance does this thicker wing provide? Oh, I didn't notice. Uh, we had put nose cones on these, didn't we? And I guess they went away somehow? Hmm. I, I could have sworn we put those payload fairing things. At least there should be a base left. I wonder... I'll have to review the video to remember what happened there. Boosters exploded nose cones? Oh, okay. Boosters exploded nose cones. Well, could be worse. They didn't explode something important. No, that's a Leaf Tangent Orbit right there. Leaf should be our target. And we have to wait. Well, we'll have to do a maneuver down here to bring things together. We probably can't just aero break at Lathe. Or aero capture, I mean. Uh, but we can try to get an encounter like that. Okay, so that's in 35 days. And that'll actually have us crashing into Leif, apparently. I, I like to see that. Okay, so let's go over to the BOP rover and see if we can do something within those 35 days to help it out. So, control. Okay. Don't be saying no vessel control. Is it going to extend the tuba every single time we turn to it? Oh, this already has a BOP periapsis. I totally forgot about that. It didn't even look like it had one. Okay, when is that? Oh, it doesn't say. Well, that says 11 days, so okay. All right, we're encountering Bop already. Let's go. Good thing I checked. It was such an inclined orbit that I didn't realize I'd set it up. I don't know what experiment was interrupted and why it didn't have enough resources, but all right. These warnings could be less vague sometimes. I guess I could have brought it closer earlier. But I don't think Bop has much Oberth. Well, our orbit was very different from Bop's, so I'm not surprised it's taking a lot. So, there's our rover. I don't think a radial burn would help, but maybe I should check. I mean, I think it'd be too much to actually do a radial burn here. Come on, let me... Ah, it's not letting me do... Ah... Okay, it's not... Please let me create a maneuver though. Every time I try and hover over it, it's because of the other line, I think. Yeah, just to get it closer radially is a lot in general. Okay, we'll just do that. Well, it's always so zoomed in. Bop. Okay, Bop's there. I feel like with this orbitals. Oh, this one. Why did that. Why did the little fairing on it sort of get stuck there? Hmm. Oh, this is taking a while. Okay. 23 kilometer periapsis. Oh, that's actually too low. Okay. Oh, we don't want to go straight down like that. The location we have to land at is marked. Right there. I don't know if we should wait or whether we should tilt our orbit, but first let's just get into a proper orbit before deciding that. Pop is super lumpy. I want to see when that location might be under our orbit or whether we have to tilt it or not.
I mean, it's daylight over here. Is it gonna come over here eventually? Uh-oh. Low time warp. Surely Bop isn't that bumpy that we need to be careful at 50 kilometers, right? Anyway, I think we will tilt. Am I sort of reading the situation right? I think, yeah, well, closer to equatorial. Okay. 21 meters per second. I think we'll just... Well, we can't time warp, time warp any faster, so... I can't wait like this. This is probably going to take too long. Let's go to Space Center. And... That's after a burn it's encountering Leif, right? It doesn't show the burn. There's supposed to be a burn for that. It doesn't show the actual maneuver that I've plotted. Only the encounter with Leif after the maneuver. It doesn't show the maneuver for this either. It came from Bop. That is what we're looking for. It's not really keeping track of it. Uh-oh. Okay. We want to land this at Paul as well, so that's why we will be somewhat careful. The little rover is going to go to the surface of Bob, come back up, rendezvous with the mothership, and the mothership will boost it over to Paul. To do another mission. That's a lot of warnings. Okay, well at least, well, I mean the surface location being lit is just a matter of me being able to see stuff. We don't need it for solar panels or anything. Okay, so now we'll let the rover do its thing. Hopefully each piece will be happy. Okay, Rover. Did I put a controller on you that won't be inconvenient? I didn't, did I? <laughs> I didn't put a controller on top, this is just the reaction wheel. I should have put a controller up there so that we could orient with it. Oh well. Oh well, uh, we could use the opposite of this stock. That's fine. Control from here. Okay. So, let's just get a... Uh, let's get a sharp descent maneuver because I don't want to deal with the time warp restrictions until we really, really need, need to. So we'll actually come straight down just to avoid them. Yeah, it's gonna be an interesting landing. Fortunately, Bop's not too hard. He says after, yeah, <laughs> right before he botches it, right? Okay. Uh, the fact that they have the impact marker like floating above it, that's not great. That's a heck of an impact right there. This rover is probably OP. It could probably go over to Paul all on its own without the mothership anyway. Maybe we should go to Val as well or something. Just double checking that it's still in the location I expected it to be? Okay. So, um... But we're, we're, we need to be reverse of this. <laughs> right? Oh no. Let's come to this. Okay, so, uh, what is that? 310, so 130. This should be our heading. Okay, good enough for now. Prograde. So that's how it's gonna go. The engines seem to be reasonably balanced considering the center of mass, so that's good. We've got Six ant engines on here. Could have been dicey. It's not perfectly symmetrical. It's got the arm in front, for instance. But we're limited to 4x, so it's gonna be a long trip down. 
At least we can see the landing location. That science blinking for purpose. Uh, experiment in progress, even. Okay. Well, it is consuming electric charge, too. Okay, we have no connect- why do we have no connection? We have a connection down there. Connected to ComNet. I don't know. We wouldn't have any control over it without communication, so I don't know why it's not letting us send the science. It's worrisome. Oh, that seems like we're falling short. No! See, it's because it's ending there. That's totally off. Let's aim at the horizon here to stop going horizontal. There's something there, I can see something. But what is it? it seems sort of skeletal. It's like a claw. I mean, I don't know if that's supposed to be a Kraken skeleton. I feel like I should land inside of it. But maybe that's probably going too far. Trial a bite with arms? I don't know. Got lots of Delta V. Don't want to break the wheels though. That thing is hovering above the surface. Everything hovers above the surface with Bop. I don't want to land on one of the things. Hmm. I don't want to try and fix that right now either. Okay. Oh no, the gravity's too low. I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> okay, SAS off. Oh. Oh no! Come on. Be a rover. Uh, control, uh, control from here. Be a rover. Oh. We, we needed a heavier rover for Bob, I think. Is there any way we can still... Invalid research location. Gosh darn it. Okay, landed. No, landed. Um, landed. Resume. Okay. No! Every time I use the little thing, it makes us pop up. Petrified Kraken. So, okay, this is what they think a Kraken looks like. Okay, really, I should have had thrusters that could push us into the ground. Okay, we're pretty flat. Don't bump us up. Brakes. Okay, it looks like they're satisfied. But let's see whether it stays safe here. Um, must be returned to KSC. That might be complicated, but it says that it's, they're satisfied, so... Um, well, another experiment is in progress. I don't know which one that is. The radiation is running. I guess I should wait for it to finish. Still can't transmit even though we must have a connection. Anyway, let's go back to the Space Center, well, Mission Control, and see that we have fulfilled it. Um, okay, it came from Bot. So they're satisfied. They'll give us our 2400. Brought to you by... nobody, apparently. Detected an impossible fossil on Bot. We There was a bigger fossil on Leith, though. No atmosphere, no water. Well, you can make a good point there. How can a living creature have ended up there? Maybe it migrated? Maybe it was a Kraken, therefore it just sort of went there at the speed of light or something. 
Anyway. Uh, how we haven't seen so much as space fish floating around. Okay. On topic. Okay, so we got that. Alright. So, ultimately, we need to get this same rover over to Paul for a radiation observation in the lowlands, specifically. Uh, so, we want to get that back into orbit and rendezvous with our mothership. So, that is what we're going to do. And then we can focus on the Leif shuttle. So... We should control from the bottom again. I think controlling from the bottom was what got us knocked around in the first place. Okay. Just hold there. Kraken, huh? No, the Krakens were more octopus-like. The problem with Bop is its datum is really... Weird. I don't know what... Okay, that periapsis is what it says there. But, uh, like, the surface is 19 kilometers high already. Didn't have to rove around too much. That is interesting. Our apoapsis and periapsis are changing. I'm taking SAS off. We have no MAR propellant. So, the... The sort of orbital decay bug is here. It still exists because there's no reason for us to have a changing orbit right now. It's only at very low heights. I think it might be, you know how the, the impact point floats like that? I think whatever height it floats at, if you're below that height, you get the orbital decay bug, but that's just a theory. We might as well just go ahead and correct inclination and make orbit here just for simplicity um, but the node well if I do that <laughs> we're backwards so the nodes gotta be all wrong and I'm like using all three vectors <laughs> I don't want to go with time warp restrictions let's go higher actually I mean 65 is still very little Okay, well, we'll have an encounter there. And... That's just one burn, but where is this burn? Okay, so we're gonna have to point 70 degrees up, 190 degrees heading, and maybe that'll work out. <laughs> No, that's probably not exactly what I wanted. Um, are these getting... No, they're not getting together. Okay, opposite. Alright, I'll take four kilometers. Okay, let's go. Still 4x time warp limitation? Okay, we're going to space center to time warp. Okie dokie. Whoa, what's all that? <laughs> I swear it dis disassembles all our craft before we turn to them. It pre-explodes them just in case it decides to do something. Okay, that's a minimum. Continue. Okay, this doesn't have the RCS. The other side does. So, over here. Wow, that glints a lot. Okay, that's, yeah, I guess that's what we have to target. Now, it looks like, yeah, making sure the RCS doesn't do the pitch, yaw, and roll helps. This is what it looks like right now. Not angled perfectly. That's pretty good. It's reading zero meters per second, though, for some reason. No matter how you look at it, we shouldn't have zero meters per second. That docking is just weird. 
Okay, make sure we're controlling from the right thing. Oh, we have to shut down all the rover engines? Shoot. Okay, well, I'm just gonna leave this here for now, because we have to deal with the Leif shuttle. Let's focus on that. 